End of DXD in Classroom of the Elite Season 2. We have to add new community series going. Reincarnate as a slime. Season 1, Season 2, 48 episodes, OVAs, movies, and a Season 3 coming up in April. This has been pretty anticipated in my channel, but I got some good news and bad news. Good news is we're covering it. Bad news is I've seen it a long time ago. In fact, a couple years ago, I've already seen this shit, but I've forgotten many details. So it's going to be interesting in how you guys kind of react to my re-reaction to this series. I'll try to make this as entertaining as possible. If you guys enjoy it on the YouTube side, we can continue. If the video performs bad, though, you know, I got I to gotta, I gotta cook up something else. So again, let's see slime right now. Here we go. World's finest assassin? What are we doing? I don't remember this in slime. What the f are we watching the right anime? <laughs> Mask girl? Okay, her mom's dead. Oh, this is straight up Japanese reenactment of the war. Oh fuck. And then summoned? <laughs> summoned! Yeah, okay. Damn, I, 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 I didn't realize the anime actually showed the intro of this girl getting summoned. Because this is like the girl that we like take a model of, right? Isn't that how he becomes like a femboy in a sense, right? Anyways, Tokyo present day. All right, it sounds like isekai <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. He's going to get fucking die, right? Truck all right, totally normal, uneventful life. Super normal college graduate, salary man. Let's go. I did not know he was 37, but goddamn, he looks good for 37, guys. Background character A? He still looks... Why is every Isekai main character a fucking virgin, dude? No girlfriend for 30. It doesn't imply that he's a virgin, but I think he still is. 37 years old, no girlfriend, just like me for real. I think this is why the Isekai main characters are just like that, because my audience can relate. I got you guys, I got you guys. Get the fuck out of my face. Are you flexing your girlfriend to me? Get that shit out of my face! Tamura. Does this guy matter? Tamura? Does Tamura fucking matter? <laughs> Does Miho ma- Do I need to know these names? I don't think I do, right? These are straight up NPCs, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Background character A and B? Well, she's important? <laughs> Rumors? Okay, just teasing. Uh, are you treating me? Alright, let's treat it. What a good Kohai. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's time. It's time. In fact, this is the best thing that's happened to him, huh? This guy with the knife running right now, he's about to stab us, right? No truck but this is the best thing that's happened to our main character, dude. <laughs> Let's go! Let's fucking go! Yeah! Oh, he saves his Kohai too. What a hero. Damn! But why was he running like that, huh? From the get-go, he was just like... Alright. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Isekai time! Isekai! You did. No, you do want this. You actually do want this. Here's the Our AI voice. It's Siri, guys. Let's go. At this point... So this is one of the most interesting to me, right? Because the things that we feel now, somehow this AI voice... What's her name again? Is she the great sage? I forget. Right now in the anime, anyways. She starts talking and she starts doing a bunch of like... I don't know, calculation. So it's like stabbed? Okay. Stab resistance? Done. You feel hot? Heat resistance? Done. This is really interesting to me. Okay. What else do we get? Physical attack resistance. See? Every time we get fucked, we suddenly like 
learn all, all, all different things to counter it. No, don't you dare call the ambulance. Let me die in peace. Let me die and move over. Hey, nullification. Slime. This is busted. But he didn't get summoned here, right? Because in the beginning scene, that girl was actually summoned. But Rimuru, how did he already get contact with the Great Sage at this point? I never, I don't get this. Dude, is this like endgame stuff? This is the voice of the world, but like, title of the show, it's Tensura. Reincarnate as a slime. See, cold resistance now. Both. Thermal fluctuation resistance, okay. A lot of skills. A lot of fucking skills. No one is gonna find my stash of porn. Get that shit out of my face! <laughs> Quickly, the hard drive! My browser history! Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Wait! wait. <laughs> Deletion of data has failed! <laughs> so, so she was listening. Oh, what are you gonna do? Because we asked our Kohai to delete our backup of our, you know, prawn. The, the voice of everything is literally just giving us electric current resistance because there's no electricity for her to fucking use to delete it. This is actually history. I, I, this is hilarious. Paralysis resistance as well. All right. Please. No one can find my browser history. This bitch! I told you! He was flexing his girlfriend to us! Yakiniku, my fucking ass! This is your fault! Blood is on your hands! Fuck you, go live a happy life! See if I care! Computer's the most important thing. Computer's the most important thing, though. <laughs> Confirmed. 37 year old virgin. I mean, I mean, I feel like there's got to be a trend, some pattern of behavior. Like, if we see one isekai anime where the main character is a virgin with no girlfriend that's old, you know, that's like an anomaly. But if you see two or three, suddenly these aren't just points. These points are making a pattern. You connect the two points, what does it make? A line. And what does a line point to? Perhaps a pattern of behavior that the isekai anime is farming you fucking degenerate coomers no bitches to make you feel relatable just like those fucking bullshit rom-com animes where the gal just fucking fawns over the beta cuck main character. This is intentional, man. Oh. I'll fuck every girl I see, really? So he gets Predator just because of that line? Predator is one of the most important skills, I think, right? Doesn't this just literally absorb people, right? So he gets Predator just because he just said, Next time, I'm gonna fuck every girl that exists. That's hilarious. Dude, this rewatch is hilarious. Because this is things that an anime only that just watched it for the first time would never understand, right? But holy shit. He gets Predator because he just said that predatory thing. <laughs> Bro, you're fucking rounding it down to 30, you're 37. Round it up to 40. I think this is literally playing into the fucking meme. You know that chart of when you lose your virginity? At a certain age, you turn into a magician, right? Yeah, great sage. No! This first episode intro is even funnier and more ridiculous now because we know how ridiculous these skills are, but the way that he gets it is through this bullshit monologue of saying, I'm a fuck every girl. I'm an aversion all this time. I'm going to become a fucking sage. And he's like, all right, great sage achieved. <laughs> Unique skill. Unique skill is super important, right? <laughs> ridiculous. This show is, this intro scene is even more ridiculous now. Go delete the hard drive. Go delete the hard drive. All right, here we go. The storm dragon Veldora, let's go. Yeah, we're a great sage now. Yeah, we're a great sage now. 
まだ慌てる時間じゃない、うん、クールな俺なんて<笑> As a 40 year old virgin, the only time I ever lost my cool was when I shit my pants in grade school. うんこ漏らした時ぐらいうんこえっとそして痛くないうん寒くない Heat resistance, cold resistance Don't have eyes, we're a slime. We don't have hands or feet anymore, we're a blob, right? Oh, oh, he's blobbing around? This is like a visual stimuli, huh? A slime assesses stuff like this? The cave of Veldora where he's sealed in, right? Oh, Jesus. Mm. He can think though. Predator. I think that was Predator, right? Intake disappears, sir. That was Predator, I think. You got uh, reincarnated as, as a slime. Unless you're an Isekai character. Oh, the voice changes. And the voice actor swap. He's a little cute blob. What a nostalgic voice, man. Or you? Were you really? <laughs> yeah. This is actual fucking fluid dynamics right now in physics. Yeah. And immediately you're gonna think a slime is useless, but a slime is not useless. Because the premise of this show is ridiculous, because Isekai characters are OP, but he's a slime? That is the catch of this anime, right? Now he just blobs around and just absorbs shit and just like levels up, I think. Right? Isn't this cave like super OP? Cause like I remember he kind of kind of like how Hajime and Ari Furete in the first in the dungeon labyrinth he was in he absorbed a bunch of powers. Even this cave isn't it like super significant so that the skills that he gets are actually like ridiculous right off the bat. To you, no slimes don't poop. <laughs> The most important skill of Predator. Again, because we're gonna say we're gonna fuck every girl when we get reincarnated. The great voice. What's your name again? The great sage skill? Right. Basically, you eat shit, then you get their powers. And all the harmful shit gets away, and no poop. This is why I'm saying, this skill enables everything. This predator skill is the beginning of everything. And he only got it because he made the comment when he was dying. I'ma fuck every girl when, in my next life. Is this how we get like potions? Right, it's valuable herb. Potions, yeah. Like very refined potions, I think. Magic kill, just magic. Source of magic. Don't worry about it. Way too much. But stuff like this is really cool because this show goes into great depth and any news will then explain this shit to us so there's more content we can farm like that. Mm-hmm. Now we're thinking, and what if we sell these potions? Oh, yes. Sonotori does. I wish I had a glasses when I say that. Now it just goes on gobbling shit. Yeah, a bunch of potions. Where the fuck is this jar coming from? My... My fucking immersion is ruined. You're ingesting the plants. Where did this where did this glass material come from? Bullshit. Bro is farming. Oh, some kind of rare mineral? What is this? What is this? 
Magic ore. Is it rare? Super rare. Very valuable again. And these are all things that you take for granted immediately because this is episode one. This is our starter seemingly tutorial area. You wouldn't think it's super important, but it actually is because this serves as a fundamental basis for everything. Oh, oh, swallow that. Why'd he fall? Oh, we're swimming now? What if you absorb the water? He could just like use predator on the water and suck everything up, right? <sighs> Time to get isekai again. No, you don't need to breathe. He doesn't do, you know, what's the word? The <laughs> respiration. I forget the exact terminology, but he doesn't like oxygen in, carbo, you know, CO2 out. Just, just suck it up or just do that. Water pressure poprosin acquired. All right, cool. We're just fucking just jesting now. Oh. Veldora? That was the barrier, I think, right? The barrier. Pay notification. Busted. Fucking busted. Self regeneration. Yep. There's gotta be so many dungeons of him fucking just, you know, it's a slime. You can take on any shape, right? Think about it. What if he takes in the shape of a fucking cucumber? Oh, our first encounter with Veldora. And Veldora in this series is like super, super important, right? Like in the tier of people we're meeting, this is like insane. Yes. Baldi? Bro, you're the one that doesn't have hair. A bald joke? Jesus. Mr. Scary Dragon? No, you wouldn't kill us. Even at this current level, let's say Veldora could attack outside the barrier. Could he kill Rimuru? Could Rimuru? Well, he can take damage. It's not that he can't take damage, it's just pain nullification. He can't take damage. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of cocky, right? This is very cocky. I will give you sight? Veldra gave him sight? Free me. No? Right. Bro is so lonely, right? Because he's stuck here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's time for his own fucking sad backstory. Look at this. You, you see, I was sealed here 300 years ago. Look at his eyes, dude. He's about to stay on his soft side. <laughs> oh. No! Magic sense. Doesn't he already have that? Can he? Oh, Veldra gives a sight to him, right? Does he or just, does he just get it from the Great Sage? If he just tries, does it work? Okay, if he just tries, it just works. Cool, he can sense the magic around him. And see, if we just fucking just imagine or try shit, it just works. Yeah. Extra skill. Skills with power and efficiency magnitude higher than those of normal skills. So there's normal skills, extra skills, unique skill, right? Yes! Cool. Things have more color to it. All right, he can actually see now, though. Yeah, you are a slime. Now it's a dragon. You can't be scared of him. You can't be scared of him. Wow. You know, I never... Velder was very imposing right off the bat, huh? Holy shit, look at him. Damn. He looks fucking scary. Yes, sir. Yo, why are you so scary right now? 
Storm Dragon? What is he? Yeah. Storm Dragon Veldora. One of the four. One of the four. I think he likes it that he's one of the four. <laughs> to come visit you, right? And not be scared. Oh, but we're sentient. Yeah. Unique. Huh? I guess so, right? Veldra knows about the reincarnation process too. What? Yeah, he did. Right, because this is the distinction between being summoned here versus being reincarnated in here. Which is an interesting mechanic that is now being almost like meta played by many different animes like Mushoku Tensei, for example. You know, Nanahoshi versus Rudy. And even like, well, Adi Furuta, people just get summoned. But you know, this is like a thing that a couple isekais are actually kind of going deep into. Otherworlders. Isekai Jin. Which is really interesting because when people think about Isekai, they think like, you know, they think like, um, what's the word? It's fucking like reincarnated. But Tensei, Tensura or ten, Tensura or ten, ten something is reincarnation. Or well, Isekai Jin is like otherworlder, you know? Otherworldly, that's what Isekai is. You don't have to get reincarnated. Yep. Yep. The girl in the beginning. <laughs> Felder's voice actor changes up so fucking quick. This is a fucking one of the four unique legendary dragons. But I thought you gonna keep me company. <laughs> Pouting dragon. Unseal him. Unseal him. Life story incoming. So I accidentally fucked over a town by mistake and then I got sealed. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Looks like you're having fun to me, bro. The mask. The mask. Damn, he lost. The mask girl only or is there more? Humans as a hero blessed with divine protection. That's her, right? Yeah, that's the mask that we know. Absolute sever. Or is it different? No, it's the fire. Am I crazy? No, it's just the mask is similar, but this is a different girl from the girl that I'm thinking of, right? Eat it. Otherworld or Isekaijin. Or Tenseijin. Ten Tenseijin. 30 mages. 30 mages is chanting. Weapons for what? For the summoner. What? Oh, so the summon. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The girl has like a pact. Yeah, back in the day, you just die if you're not survived, like, fittest enough. Lonely. Oh, oh, please hang out with him. 300 years kind of, you know, compared to 37. Yeah. Pales in comparison. <gasps> Friends? Tomodachi? Cause think about it. This is one of the four legendary dragons that exist in this world. Probably one of the most like revered beings in the world. The most like strongest feared beings. Then you got this fucking blob that just shows up. They're gonna be friends. Yep. Yep. A mere slime? You dare? But, I mean, if, 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 if you want to. <laughs> come on, come on, friendship. Come on, come on. <laughs> this voice acting is so good. Sundere Dragon. <gasps> no! It's not like I want to be your friend or anything. Chew. Aww. The beginning of a beautiful friendship, man. Here we go. 
This casually became friends with Storm Dragon Veldora. Oh, it's his fucking uh ceremony right now. It's his funeral, bro. His friend, his Kohai better have deleted the hard drive. Bro? Ha ha ha, Slife. Did you do it, bro? What if he saved the backup? Oh god, there he goes. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. What the fuck would you drop it in the bath? This is dangerous as fuck, but hey, the Kohai got us back. What, what is this? We got Internet Explorer. I'm trying to see if there's any prawn on here. DDM, little sus. Salute. Years of backup. How many terabytes of prawn is in there, man? Oh, I could name him after his senpai. Is that it? Ladies and gentlemen, that is Tensura Season 1, Episode 1. The fateful encounter between a regular slime blob and the legendary Storm Dragon Veldra. A lot of details I've forgotten, but they're kind of coming back. And hopefully this is a fun, entertaining experience for you. And again, game of YouTube, it's either you guys like it or not. So if I release this video and it does well, we'll continue. But I understand if you don't want to watch because, you know, I have some knowledge in the show. But again, I think that the re-reaction, the fact that even in the beginning, the great sages like skill and stuff, it, it, like there's so many details that I'm just like picking up now that I just never knew as an, like the first time watching right now. So perhaps there is some, there is, there's like a good reason or like it'll be actually worth it to actually react for the second time. But that's it. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.